in the Mediterranean. Now, I thought this would be the perfect opportunity to make a video from an international sense on how to make a website. Now, this website that we're going to make in this video, step by step, is going to work not only in the U.S., but in countries around the world. Now, I've had the opportunity to meet a local business owner here in Malta who operates a ferry service to various islands off the coast of Malta. He has no web presence for his business. In this video, I'm going to walk step by step through everything involved in creating a real website for a real business for this local business person here in Malta. So let's take a look at the final product. So this is the final product of the website we will be walking through step by step creating from scratch today. And I thought being here in Malta that this would be a really good opportunity to demonstrate how easy it is to have a website, to make a website, not only if you're in the US but if you're around the world, and just really stress the importance of making sure that your website is going to have that global sense. So if you're in the US, making sure that people in Malta are able to view your site or people around the world are able to view your site. Now for this particular website we are creating today step by step in this video is for a boat ferry service in Malta. Now since I've been in Malta I met this local business owner named Tony who runs three boats um, in a ferry uh, service business to various islands off the coast of Malta. He had no web presence at all with this business. And I actually asked him why and he said that it was too expensive and he had actually gotten quotes from web developers himself that were quite abs absurd. Um, you know, in the thousands of euros of doll uh, thousands of euros here to create a simplistic design of a website like this that we're going to do today in under $25 and in about an hour. So this is the home page of the website. I'll be showing you step by step how to make. I will show you how to add an image, how to update your call to action here and update this text, update this button here. I will show you how to, you know, get this layout so that you have this layout on your home page and that you have these call to actions as well with these three nice looking images with some text on them that direct to whatever whatever page you would like on your site. Uh, we'll show you how to install this plugin where you can have this contact form on your site so that your visitors can contact you directly from your website. I will show you everything involved in setting up this site we are going to walk through today. I'm going to show you how to add pages on your site. I will show you how to embed YouTube videos as well as a Google map displaying the location of your particular business wherever you are. I will show you how to make a blog for your website. everything involved in setting this up we are going to walk through today and I am really excited about making this video as well because this is actually for a real business um, it's a real website and just this international sense of it I'm excited to stress the importance of making sure that people around the world can still view your site so let's get started Let's first take a look at the steps that we're going to walk through today in order to create this site. Okay, so we've just gone through an overview of the final product of the website that we will be creating in this video. So here, let's take a look at our agenda. I have listed here the steps that we're going to need to walk through in order to create this website today. So the first thing that we'll need to do is we'll need to register a domain name. So a domain name is basically your URL. This is where your visitors can find you on the internet. So our domain name is anything like yahoo.com, um, google.com. Um, this is yourwebsite.com. 
Now the domain name that we're going to be registering today for this Malta Ferry uh, service is going to be simply Malta Boat Ferry. I think the name of this domain um, very well describes the business that he is operating. So that is the domain that we're going to try to register in this video. Now it's also a good idea to have some alternative domain names in mind in case your preferred name is going to be already taken or registered by someone else. So it's good to keep that in mind. Now the next thing that we're going to need to do is we will need to go out and get web hosting. So what web hosting is, is basically a computer that is on 24-7. On, on this computer, we will be storing all of our content and all of our images that we place on our domain name or our website. So all of the information and everything that we actually place on this website will need to be stored, um, which is called web hosting. So we will need to get that. Um, and after we do that, I'm going to show you how to install WordPress. So I'm going to show you a very, very easy one-click installation of WordPress. Now what WordPress is, is it is a content management system. So this is a CMS that makes it incredibly easy to manage your website from the back end, add new content to your site, add images and information and everything involved in editing and updating your website it makes it so very easy um, it does not make you do any form of coding so it is that easy now i like to compare wordpress to simply microsoft word um, it is as simple as you know typing in a microsoft word document deleting in a Microsoft Word document, you know, adding new information and images to a Microsoft Word document, saving it and publishing it. And WordPress has a huge market share, um, a huge percentage of the websites you see on the internet have this CMS tool. A large amount of Fortune 500 companies use WordPress as well. So this is the CMS tool that I recommend using. And the next thing that we'll do is we will be installing a theme. So this is going to be basically a look and feel behind the website that we will have. So I know of a great business theme that is free as well that we will be using in this video. And lastly, we will just be adding pages and content to make this website completely real and in the Malta Ferry Boat business. So let's get started. The first things that we need to do is we need to register a domain name and get hosting. So let's do that now. We pull up a browser and we go to HostGator. Dot com. This is the company that I like to use to register my domain names and get web hosting. Now I've been with HostGator for many years and I have not had any major problems with them. Um, they have been pretty great. Um, this is the company I always recommend and like I said, I've had some bad experience with web hosting companies. Um, there are quite a few out there. I have not had a very bad experience with HostGator. So this is what I recommend. Now, if once you're come to HostGator, you click on web hosting right here. And we'll see here on this page that HostGator offers several different web hosting plans. The hatchling plan, the baby plan, and the business plan. Now. The plan that I always go with is the baby plan. And I always go with the baby plan because you will see that they offer unlimited domain names. So under this one hosting account baby plan, we can host unlimited domain names. So we can host yourwebsite.com, yourbrotherswebsite.com, um, yourfriendsbusiness.com, etc. So we can do that. 
and we can also do it for a pretty great price, I think. So this is what I always go with, and I always go with the monthly plan, um, just because I really don't like to have any kind of commitments um, when I'm working with companies. And this is you know, what I've always done. And after we do that, we will click order now. So here we come to the field where HostGator is asking us what domain name we would like to register. So our preferred domain name for this business is MaltaBoatFerry.com. And let's see if that is available. MaltaBoatFerry.com. Okay, congratulations, this domain name is available. Like I said, this is gonna be the preferred domain name that we wanted to register for this business. It is also a good idea to have some alternatives in mind in case your domain is not available. Over here you can select, you know, whether you want it to be .com, .net, .org. Say if the .com is not available, you can register the .net or .info, anything like that. And say if you're coming from GoDaddy, you've already registered your domain name with GoDaddy. You can select, I already own this domain name, and enter your domain name in this field. So after we do that, we will want to make sure that we have the baby plan. And oh, right here, we can see that right now, by default, HostGator is giving us 20% off. Now. I have a coupon code that will actually save you 25% off rather than the standard 20% off. So if you, we scroll down and we delete the default coupon code here, we can enter in global site 25 and click validate. So we can see here at the bottom that we are now saving 25% off rather than 20% off which is great, um, always great to save some money. And now if you're gonna register a domain name, get hosting with uh, HostGator anyways, I do appreciate it if you use this coupon code as it does allow me to continue making these helpful videos. And they also do pay me a small commission so I can't make these videos. So I do appreciate that and thank you so much for your support. So after we enter that in, let's go up. And we can do see up here that we have 25% off rather than 20% off. And we can enter our username, security pin, and our information. So let's do that now. And here is our billing information. Now it's always a good idea on these hosting add-ons to uncheck these. So I'm gonna uncheck domain privacy and I'm gonna uncheck site lock that they already had checked. Um, you know, domain privacy might be the most ideal one that you may want to have as far as these hosting add-ons go. Um, what this is, is, you know, at the moment with your domain name, anyone can search this domain name on Google or Yahoo or something and all of your information will come up. So your name, your address, your phone number will all come up unless you check domain privacy. Now privacy is not really an issue for me, so I always uncheck that. So right now I am going to enter in my billing information and I will meet you on the next page. Okay, so after we click create account with HostGator, we will get a thank you page with HostGator. And they will also send an email to us with the email that we have just registered with them. So right now we wanna to go to our email, um, and this can actually take about five to 10 minutes to actually receive this email from HostGator. But once you do receive this email, you want to make sure you keep this there is a lot of important information in this email. So right here we will see that we can log into our billing system and see what account we've set up with them. We'll see that we have the baby account and we will see that we are set up to go monthly with them. So we can do that by clicking this link using our email address 
and logging in with this password here. But for us, we, we're going to want to go to our control panel. So we're going to click on this link here, your control panel. And before we log into our control panel and install WordPress to our website, I'd like to show you how our website looks at the moment. So this is the domain that I registered, Malta Boat Ferry. And we will see that we are just coming to a HostGator getting started page with them. And do note that once you first register a domain name and get hosting with a web hosting company, that it can take up to around 24 hours for your website to actually go online, for you to actually see a web page when you type your domain name in the in this field here. So keep that in mind. And also one thing that I've had some good experience with in the past is contacting HostGator directly via live chat or via their phones to expedite getting my website online. That's always worked very well for me. But for right now, let's log into our cPanel and install WordPress. So to do that, we'll grab our username which is case for me and our password. So I'm just going to copy and paste this password here. So case and I'll paste that password in here. Click login. And no thanks. No thanks. And once we come here, you'll see that we've just logged into our control panel. So this is where we can do a lot of cool things with HostGator. For our purposes, we are going to install WordPress from our control panel. So to do that, we will scroll down to software services, and we will click on quick install right here. So I'm going to click on quick install. And here in the left menu under blog software, I'm going to click on WordPress. So I'll click on WordPress and I will click continue. And let's make sure that the domain that we've just registered appears here in this field. I will leave this field right here blank and I will enter in my email. So .com blog title will just be the name of the business that we are running, which is Malta Boat Ferries. For admin user, I'm going to type my name, Case. And then I'll type Case Gilbert. Okay, and then I'm going to click Install Now. Okay, and now we're getting a notice that WordPress has been successfully installed on our website. Now, in my experience, when getting this notice, it can actually take around four hours or so for WordPress to fully install on your website. So right now, I'm just going to take a break, a break and uh, when I come back, we will have WordPress set up on our website, and we will begin create finish creating our website okay so let's check and see if WordPress has installed on our website so let's go to our domain which is maltaboatferry.com for me and I'm just gonna refresh this okay and we see that we now have the default theme of WordPress set up on our site so right now our site is looking a lot better, obviously, than how it had looked um, with just the host gator getting started on the page. So now we finally have something to work with as far as setting up our website. Now let's take a look at what we've done thus far on our steps to make a website. So we have registered our domain name. This is done. We have gone and gotten hosting that is done and we have installed WordPress that's done now the next thing that we need to do in order to begin 
getting to our final step here of adding our pages and our content and our images and starting to really make our website look like a real business site is we need to install a theme. Uh, so this theme is just going to change the look and feel of how our website looks and feels exactly how it how it sounds. So I know of a really great theme that is free that I think is going to work very great for this business and a lot of similar businesses out there. Really any kind of local business or business you're running. But to do this, we want to actually log in to our WordPress dashboard. So we want to log into the back end of our website. So WordPress will also have sent you an email with your login details. But you can also grab these login details right here on this congratulations page. So our username is just going to be case for me. And our password is going to be this long, funky password here. So I'm going to copy that. And I'm going to log into our dashboard by simply typing backslash WP hyphen admin. This will take us to where we can log into our dashboard. So my username is case, and here is our password. So I'm going to log in. And right here we've gotten to the back end of our website. So this is the dashboard of WordPress. Here we'll be able to add all of our content and update our pages and everything involved with our website we'll be able to do from here. So the first thing that I always like to do when I log into my dashboard for the first time is to change this, this password that WordPress has given us to something more memorable. So I'm gonna do that by going to um, settings. I'm sorry, to do that we will go to users actually. So let's click on users. And let's click on edit here. And let's scroll down to a field where we can type in a new password. So I'm going to type in something more memorable in this field. And I will update profile. So we've done that. We've just changed our password. The next thing that I like to do is let's actually pull up our website on a different browser. So multi boat ferry, and I'm gonna close out of some of these. So we've got our dashboard and our live site here. The next thing I like to do is right now you'll notice that our domain name, when we enter it, it is simply multiboatferry.com. There's no www.multiboatferry in our domain name. So, I mean, I've always been a little bit picky when it comes to having this www in front of a domain name. I think it looks a bit more professional, um, gives a bit more professional look to your site. So I'm going to simply update this right now before we get started adding our content and everything. So to do this, let's actually go to settings. So we'll just click on settings here in the menu and we'll see WordPress address URL, site address URL and we'll see our domain names here. So let's simply click into the domain name right here and type www. in front of our domain. So www. <clears throat> and make sure this looks correct because if the www is not in the correct place, it will mess up your website a bit. So let's make sure that is correct. And it is. And I will click Save Changes. Now WordPress will also log you out because we have just changed our password as well. So I'm going to log back in with our new password details. And we are back in. So what we need to do now is we need to install this theme. So to do that, we can get this theme directly in our WordPress dashboard. So we'll go to Appearance and we'll click on Themes. And let's click on install themes up here. 
and I believe we can type, let's type responsive. This is the business responsive theme. Yes, right here. The theme is actually called Alexandria. This is a very professional looking theme with a minimalist, minimalistic feel to it. It's a very simple looking website, which is exactly what your visitors are looking for. They're not trying to read a lot of content and this and that on your site. So let's get right to it. Let's install this theme on our website. And let's click activate. Okay, and we can see that this has changed the look of our dashboard in here. So let's go to our live site and make sure that our website has been updated. Okay, pretty cool. This is very simple and very, very easy to edit and get started with. So this is the responsive business team. This is kind of an update to the first uh, video and theme that I used in my first video, which was the responsive theme. This is the responsive business theme that is a little bit you know, more updated. It is very professional looking, I think, and it's gonna be very, very simple for us to add our own unique content to this. The other thing that I really, really like about this, this theme is that it is responsive, which means that all of your content and images on your website will adjust accordingly to the browser size. So when you move the browser, everything fits appropriately. So because the theme is responsive, that means that it also works on smart devices, which is very important. In today's world, everyone is using their iPhone or their Android or their, you know, their their iPad or their iPhone, all sorts of smart devices that people are pulling up uh, your website to get information about your business on. So that is very important and that is really why I like this theme. But moving right along, let's begin to add pages to our website here. So to do that, let's go to our dashboard and let's go to pages. Let's click on pages. And let's begin adding some unique. First, first, let's trample. Let's sorry. Let's trash this sample page. So I'm going to click that, and I'm going to trash that. Now I'm going to begin adding pages. So I'm going to add a home page, and I'm not going to add any content to these pages at the moment. We will come back to that. So I'll click publish. I will add a about us page for uh, Tony's uh, ferry service. Click publish here. Another add new page. Uh, do contact. And let's add one more page. We will title this one blog. Okay, and after we've added those pages, let's go back to our site and let's refresh. And we'll see that our pages are not appearing right where they're supposed to appear. So the pages will appear right where my cursor is. So they should appear right around here. And we'll see that they aren't appearing. To make them appear, we need to go in our dashboard and we need to create a menu. So let's do that now. Let's go to appearance. Let's go to menus. Let's, it's asking us here to create a custom menu. So it's asking us what the title should be of our menu. I'm just gonna title this menu. I'm gonna click create menu. And here, main navigation, we wanna select menu. So I'm gonna select menu, I'm gonna select save. And right here, it's asking us what pages that we've created just now that we would like to appear in our menu. So I want all of these pages to appear. I'm gonna add those to menu. And they have been added to the menu. Let's make sure that they are in the order that we would like them to appear. 
So home to appear first, and then about us, and then blog, and then contact. And this custom link here, we also want to create a custom link. So to do this, let's type in our main domain name in this field. So www.multaboatferry.com for me. And this is actually going to be labeled home. I will add this one to the menu. And I'm going to bring this one actually up. And I will remove this home one. Because this custom link of our home actually brings us to our homepage of this theme. So we want to keep our theme homepage. We want to keep editing all of the content on this homepage that is provided for us. And I'm going to click Save Menu. Let's go back to our site. Let's click Refresh. And we see that we do have a menu now. So we have all of the pages that we've just created here appearing in our menu. Now you can, of course, add as many pages as you see fit for your business. For Tony's ferry service business, I think this is going to be enough to get him started and to get him a, an idea of where he needs to go with his business. So like I said, if you click on home, we're directed to our default um, homepage that we're given. So let's start actually updating our homepage with Tony's own unique content for his business. So let's go back to our, to our dashboard. Let's go to appearance, theme options. And we'll see here that this theme actually has a couple different colors and different ideas of how the homepage can look. I actually prefer this one that it gives us right away. So I'm going to keep this one. Um, let's go back. So I'm going to select a different layout here. I'm actually going to select. Right now we're on standard blog layout, which means that below this responsive theme that it is starting our blog. So I'm going to get rid of that and actually make this a little bit more professional of a site by selecting this layout right here. So I'm just going to click that right here in layout. I'm going to go down and I'm going to save options. I'm going to go back to our site. Let's refresh. So we'll notice that our website was not updated with the, the change that we just did. Now this is a really easy fix. To make sure that this updates properly, we actually need to go to settings and to reading. And here where it says front page displays, this is a really important step, is we need to select a static page here. And here under front page, we're going to select home. And on post page, we're going to select blog. So it's really important that we make this change or else these theme uh, layouts for this website will not update properly. So now if we go back to our site and we refresh, we will see that we do have a different look and feel on our site, which is pretty cool. So now we're going to be able to edit this welcome text, these three boxes, and also this um, main image and text here. So let's update this main image. Let's go to our dashboard. Let's go to appearance, theme options, and let's go to header one settings and let's upload an image for our homepage. So I'm going to select an image from my computer here. I will select this image here. And this actually might take a little bit longer to upload an image. This is a very large file.
So there is our image right here. And I want this to be large size. And I'm going to click use this image. Okay, and let's make sure to go down and let's click save options. And let's go back to our home page and let's refresh. Okay, pretty cool. There is our home page image. Nice attractive photo of some Malta boat ferries. So that is pretty cool. Next thing we want to do is we want to update this text right here, all of this text, as well as this button to direct to another page on this site. So let's do that. Let's go to our dashboard and let's go back to header one settings. And our headline can just be the name of this business, I believe, Malta Boat Ferries. And the text can be Welcome to Malta Boat Ferries. We operate every half hour leaving from Malta to Camino and Malta to Gozo. We operate round trip. Okay. And this call to action test text is asking for the text that we would like to have on this button. So for this particular business, I think good call to action text would be contact. And the call to action link is asking for where we want this, this link to direct to on our site. So we want this to go to our contact page. And all we need to do to go to this page is we need to do backslash contact. So whatever you've named the pages on your site, you'll just want to do backslash and then the name of that page. Okay, so let's make sure to click save options. And let's refresh. And we have some text. So Tony might like to have a little bit more text right here. Um, not too much, but maybe, you know, another one or two sentences. And let's make sure this button works. So if we click contact, we are directed to the contact page that we've created. So it's pretty cool. We are coming along here. The next things we want to update are we want to update this text as well as these three images and the text below these images. So let's go back to our dashboard and we're still in theme options here. Since we've chosen biz one settings as the layout of our homepage, we will collect, we will click biz one settings. So the headline is asking for what we would like this to say. And for now, we can just put welcome to our new website. We are excited to take you to all of the islands surrounding Malta. And left section. So this image right here is asking for what image we would like to place in this spot here. So let's select an image from our computer. Select Malta for this image. Like I said, the images are rather big. I took these images um, in Malta and on Camino after actually taking Tony's ferry service. All right. And 
we are loaded here. So that is the image I would like to show for this. I'd like that to be large as well. I will click use this image. And the headline for the left section, it's asking for what we would like this to say. So since Tony operates this ferry service to, from both Malta and also Camino and also Gozo, I'm going to title this as Malta, Camino, and Gozo. So for this first one, I'm going to title that Malta. And the text is going to be something in the line of we operate every half hour and leave from Paradise Bay in Malta on the north end of the island. And this link is asking us where we would like this um, image to direct to on our site. So when you click on this image, where will you be taken to on the site? And this should go to also contact, I believe. So I'm gonna take that to contact because that's a really call to action. And let's save this and see how this is looking. See how this is coming along. So that has been saved. Let's refresh our home page. And pretty cool. Welcome to our new website. We're excited to take you to all of the islands surrounding Malta. We can also change this text. All right, so we are really coming along now. We are starting to have a very professional looking business site. So pretty cool. Let's keep on moving along. Let's go back to biz one settings and let's add our center section. So let's grab an image from our computer for Camino. We can select this one for now. These are also pretty high quality images, so that's why the files are so large here. So 100%. Great. That is our image. Let's make sure it's large. And let's click use this image. So there we are. Headline for this is going to be Camino. The text will be we operate to Camino, leaving from Malta and going to the Blue Lagoon in Camino. This will also direct to the contact page. Let's save options and make sure this is looking good. So that is saved, let's refresh our homepage. And we've got a really cool looking image there for Camino as well. Finally, let's update this last image here. So let's go back to our layout. Let's click on Biz One settings. Let's scroll down. And here's the right section. So let's grab an image for that. Select files. Now let's see, what do we want? Don't have a Gozo image at the moment, so we will use this image from Camino. But hopefully Tony is getting the hang of creating a website and he'll be able to come back and update this site as he sees fit for his business. And we're at 100%, which is great. So there is our image as well and it is large, which is great. Let's use this image. Headline for this will be Gozo. We operate daily, leaving from Malta to Gozo round 
trip every half hour. Please, can I say something like, please call for special rates. And for link, let's go to our contact page as well. Let's save that. And let's go back to our home page. Let's refresh. So we have got three pretty cool images here. That is looking really good. Now this theme also comes with an area where you can place a quote. So say you have a, you know, you want to include a testimonial from a customer who's really happy with your services and your business, etc. You can add that right here. Now, depending on the type of business you have, this may work really great for you. I am going to go to biz one settings and at the moment, we will not show the quote because I do not have a quote to show. So I'm going to select no here, do not show the quote, and I'll save options here. And let's go back, let's refresh again. And our quote has been removed. Pretty cool. Lastly, for our homepage, let's update this. So let's go to biz one settings and call us for special deals and rates outside of our um, advertised services. Let's make sure to save options again. Let's go back to our home page. Let's refresh. Cool, so we're now really coming along and getting a really professional looking site for Tony's business, which I think is really cool that we have done this for under $25 and he has had, you know, quotes. He wasn't on the web because he thought it was so expensive to be on the web. So I'm really excited that he is finally on the web and doing it for a decent price. The next things let's do, let's add a little bit of content to these pages here. So let's go to our About Us page. Let's go to Pages. And let's click on Edit here on About Us. And in the future on this page, I think it would be really beneficial for Tony to add, you know, a little picture of him and also really update this page. We'll have at least one paragraph of content about him and really, you know, why is he doing this business? Hi, my name is Tony and I have three boats that I operate a ferry service with here in Malta. Let's update this. Let's go back to our site. Let's refresh our About Us page, and we have some content there. So this leave a reply you see, you probably don't want your visitors coming to your site and leaving a reply on pages like your About Us page. Let me show you how to remove this section right here. So we're on About Us. Let's go up here to Screen Options in our dashboard on this page. Let's click Discussion and let's scroll down and uncheck allow comments here and let's click update. And now let's refresh our page and we see that there is plenty of room for Tony to come here and add his content and some good pictures of him and his boats and his business. Let's go to our blog page and we can see that this has been set up for us to start creating posts in here. So maybe Tony wants to include some fun trips that he did outside of his regular advertised services. He can include, you know, fun trips that he took groups maybe to, you know, various fishing trips or such. He can include posts right here. To do that, you simply go to posts. And you see hello world right there. 
that is what's showing right here. So we can click Add New. This is my first post. I love my job. Let's publish that. And let's go back and refresh this. So we can see, you can also add pictures as well to your posts. So we can see that Tony can start um, keeping track of the fun trips that he does with his customers. So that is that. Let's click on contact here. Let us remove that, leave a reply on the, con on the contact page. Let's edit our contact page. Let's go to screen options. Discussion is checked. So let's come down and let's uncheck allow comments. Update. Come back to contact. Let's refresh. And we can see that we are ready for a real contact form to be added into this web page. Let's do that. To do that, we are going to go download a plugin. So let's click on plugin. Let's plugins. Let's click on add new. Now WordPress has such a huge market share on the internet. I think 50% plus of websites you see on the internet use this content management system of WordPress which means that there are thousands of developers all around the world who are constantly making WordPress a better experience by contributing these plugins to WordPress. So for this particular plugin that we're going to download is going to be a contact form. So let's search plugins for a contact form. And a good frame of, re good frame of reference when installing new plugins is to look at the ratings and reviews. For this contact form, let's see where it is. I think the one is called Contact Form 7. Let's see if we can find that. Contact Form 7. Great. This contact form, this plugin, is one that I have used quite a lot and it has worked very well for me. So we're going to install this again. Let's click Install Now. Are you sure you want to install this plugin? Okay. And let's activate that plugin. So we will now see that this contact item has been added into our menu and our dashboard. So let's click on contact and let's click edit. And this is pretty simple here. All we need to do Let's copy this code and paste it into our page. So let's copy that. Copy. Let's go back to our contact page. And let's click edit. And let's make sure that we click on text here. That's really important since we are simply pasting in this HTML code that they have given us. So once we cl click on text, let's paste this in, this little short code there. Let's see what that does. Let's click update. And let's go back to our contact page and let's refresh. And we can see that this really professional looking contact form has been added onto our site. So I think that is looking really, really good. That is pretty cool. So the next things that we might want to have on our website is simply a Google map of where we are. Let's go to maps.google.com. And Tony's business is located in Paradise Bay in Malta. So let's see if we can find that here on Google Maps. Paradise Bay, Malta. So this is the area, Paradise Bay Lido, that's right. Okay, so let's grab a map. Click on this, this link icon and let's paste 
this HTML code onto our website. So I'm going to copy this. I'm going to come back to our contact page so that we can also give our visitors a sense of where we are actually located. Let's go back to our contact page. Let's go down a little bit and let's copy this code we've just downloaded. We've just pasted here. And let's click update. Go back to our contact page, let's refresh. And we now have a little map of where his business is actually located. And it's here in Malta. So that is pretty cool, I think. And the next things I wanna show you how to do is how to embed a YouTube video. So on this About Us page, Tony has actually taken a um, video of the Camino Island on one of his ferry trips that he thinks is going to serve quite well. So let's search um, Tony and Camino, I believe. Let's see if we can find it. Here it is. So let's grab this video from YouTube. Let's click on share right here and let's click on embed. So let's copy that. Let's go back to our website and let's go to our about us page. And let's click edit. And let's make sure that we're on the text icon of our page since we are pasting HTML code. Let's click update. Let's go back to our site. Let's refresh. And we've got a pretty cool little video here of one of Tony's um, outings here on Camino Island here in Malta. So that is pretty cool, I think. Let's pause that. Next thing, the last thing let's do is let's add some unique content to this, just another WordPress site. We don't really need that. Let's go to settings. And here's our tagline here. So we can always change multi boat ferries to something different. Um, but let's change this to, you know, the, the best ferry in Malta. Let's save changes. Let's go back, let's refresh. The best ferry in Malta. Great. Okay, and one more thing, let's put a logo on our site. So, let's change this, actually, Malta Boat Ferries to something different. Now to do this, let's go to uh, our dashboard and let's go to theme options again and let's go to our logo section here. So here we can upload a logo for our website. Now if you're experienced in Photoshop or you know someone who is really good at creating custom logos for businesses, I really suggest that you get in touch with them and create your logo in one of those programs. Now for me, I've done something very simple as I'm not um, that experienced in Photoshop and graphic design um, and things like that. I've simply gone into Microsoft Word and written some text and taken a screenshot of this text to serve as this logo for Tony's business. Now of course, I think he can have someone here in Malta um, create this logo for his business very easily. But to kind of serve as an example for everyone, I will upload this logo. So let's do full size for the logo and let's come down and let's click save options. Let's come back, let's refresh. And there is a logo on our website now. 
So it is a very simple logo, but I think it really serves the point of this website. So now you've made it to the end of this video, and I hope that this video has been very helpful for you in constructing your WordPress website, and everything is coming along quite well. So thank you again, everyone. I really do appreciate your support, and like always, I hope to have more of these helpful videos coming very soon. So thank you so much.